myself, they call me J-O-A to the easy E and Know that we undefeated, y'all are beneath them speeds Just trying to air a grievance, but his lines are overhead Better check the air for clearance, call the tower This is our clear to heat the air apparent uh, Really, I've never been better yeah. Legacy, this is forever Alright, so we got the meals Chicken and rice Chicken and rice meals and then we got the cereal for post worker. You guys know I love my cereal. And then we got some almond milk. Just get the extra small. Toffee. Hey, there's more basic. The main thing is cream of rice. And the wing scale. This is a pre-workout meal. I had Mumbai Aya. It's on the second. Come to show you show here. So, we're gonna go train back today. And I'm far behind on the meals because how many of the microwave settlement to us of the Patasara where the microwave, how to get a microwave in a hotel to get them. I think the concept is in there that you have room microwaves out there for the bigger hotels. So, I have to figure that out. Luckily, that they were able to arrange one for me so we will be able to do that and we put water in this and then we just take it to the microwave now fifth floor say we're gonna go to first floor eat the food Come back, eat the meal, or put the tea bag in the meal, and come back. Eat the meal and come back. But it's worth it. And everything, and my cup is out there, so okay. Only I want to know, which sucks. So. Um, can you get my it in my cream of rice and the problem with this is it's too much Six, twelve. we need 20 grams of prunes all right so you got 20 grams of prunes jockey almost here and I'm gonna use my favorite protein. So, if you guys know me, you know that this is the only pre workout I eat year round, prep, off season, traveling, doesn't matter. Same thing, just different amounts. Because it digests the best and is most optimal that I've found before a workout. So, I give that to my clients, I do it myself. And then I eat the chicken or like I always stay whey protein before my workout because it's easier on the stomach and it's digests well. So when you're in the gym, you're not really feeling bloated or having too much food in the stomach. And I like to feel that I don't have a lot of food in my stomach when I'm working out. So that's why.
To warm up the lats, get all the muscle in the lat, and then uh, we're gonna do one of the movement for lats, and then go on to some rows and uh, finish it off with some lower back stuff. So basics is all the same. I did not bring my notepad today because I've been mean, forgot it. My gym bag, so I only have my belt and my wrist wraps. But we're gonna make it work regardless. So two to three warm -up sets, probably three warm -up sets for the first one, and then every other exercise is gonna be two warm -up sets going up in weight and then the last two sets are going to be working sets to a complete failure um, with an intensifier thrown in with like a drop set or a rest pause or even some super sets by the end of the workout so we'll see how I feel but yeah two working sets We're going to be doing single arm pull downs to target the lower lat and uh, with this machine if you guys have it at the gym I never like to use both hands because I feel like I don't feel the stretch and the squeeze as well if I just focus on one arm because when I'm doing just one arm I can like really move my body and just isolate my lat but if I'm like doing two it's harder for me to do so if you're doing it on a cable same exercise actually you do it on a cable uh, having a seated bench or like an incline bench so for example it's an incline bench and the cable is right there I made that in my last video in my back workout video I was actually using the cable so if it's an incline you just go on the cable and you do the same thing like that to target the lower lat uh, if that one or this one which is a machine a little bit different than the weight is but if you do it right they both hit the low lat and that's what it's one of my favorite exercises to do because that's something I'm really trying to bring up uh, for the next month here. Gonna be doing my favorite barbell rows. Nice. One of the toughest exercises for back if you do it right. Don't jerk, don't move, keep your back stationary at 40 to 45 degree angle. And then just pull and squeeze your middle back. Don't move your don't jerk, stay stationary and then move your middle back. If you do it right, that is like the biggest and the best back builder. That's how I built my back to this. Barber row from day one and deadlifts.
legs. We're gonna do hamstring rolls, but I'm not doing a regular form with the chest supported like that. I'm actually keeping some distance and uh, making sure that I feel that stretch in my lat and then squeeze. But by if you just do it here, the range of motion is limited only till here. But if I go back and do it like this, I can go all the way back and that's all lat. So I want to focus primarily on lat thickness. So that extra range of motion and the mind muscle connection that I'm getting from here is so much better than just doing it with my chest supported. We're just going to work my rhomboids, my traps, my rear delts, everything. I just want to isolate and squeeze. So try it out. Humidity in India, I'm not used to it. That's why I'm sweating so much. Because weather in Canada for a dry old day. Because the winters there are pretty cold, minus 30, minus 40. So it's so dry. And Mumbai is anywhere, it's a coastal area. So a lot of humidity. And when you're not used to that, it makes you feel tired and sweat. Assisted, so I can do it slowly and uh, feel more contraction. We're gonna do three sets and uh, between 12 to 15 reps. I think all sets are gonna be working sets, but uh, not to complete exhaustion. Like I'm not gonna do an intensifier or like try to do more than I can. The idea is to just get more blood in the lat, uh, get a better pump before we are done with the lat and upper back. And now for this, we're just gonna finish it off with some hyper extensions because I feel like because I've traveled and haven't slept enough my lower back already feels a little bit stiff so I'm not going to do rack pulls or deadlifts usually that's what I finish it off my back walk with but uh, I know if I do that I'll go heavy and uh, right now I only ate two meals and it's already like 6 p.m. so I don't want to go through that I have three more meals to eat after this so I'd rather preserve my back. So yeah, just more of a blood work. We got the work done. We hammered the back with the working sets. Now we're going to do some hyper extensions. Go heavy on them, but they're not as risky as rack pulls. And that's it. I know I'm in shape, but this was not intended to be a guest posting session, but the 
because he said that and because he sold me a four here, I will do it. I have no pump on, I have no tan on, so this is me just walking around. Because you are brown Munda and brown Munda needs to show his body now. So I do that. Let's 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 make it happen.